do digital or electronic games have a role in learning in this presentation i share my thoughts on this topic i think uh, digital games are one more tool for learning or teaching by that i mean that for a learner who is very comfortable with traditional means like books and finds learning through books uh, efficient uh, for such a learner digital games may not be much of a value add but for some learners who who are not comfortable with traditional means of learning games can play a very important role for game based learning uh, we can look at it from two perspectives the first is learning effectiveness or do the games uh, provide a meaningful learning activity or uh, is it that the learning uh, is it that the game is just a um, fun activity and doesn't really lead to any learning and the second aspect is uh, engagement or um, do the uh, games uh, enhance learner motivation and the elements of uh, engagement from a perspective of game based learning uh, would be is the game uh, does the game provide a fun learning experience is it interesting or is it a very tedious and boring learning experience does it add to learner concentration does it get learners full attention ellen langer author of the book mindful learning says that um, play holds our attention because the stimulus is constantly changing so for example she suggests that even while reading a book if uh, the learner engages with the book more uh, for example by looking at the book from the perspective of various characters in the book or playing with uh, different uh, endings of the book the more the learner engages uh, with the stimulus the better the learning experience compare this to how boring a monologue lecture where the stimulus is absolutely static can become finally the uh, another element on the engagement dimension is learning by doing or learning by getting your hands dirty which is that games can provide an experience where the uh, learner has to intensely um, engage in various activities so to recap the uh, uh, engagement aspect of game based learning includes elements like fun interest concentration full attention and learning by doing on the learner effectiveness axis or how do games provide a more meaningful uh, learning experience um we can look at it uh, from from the perspective of what are the what are typically the uh, learning outcomes expected for example uh, typical learning outcomes include uh, memorization uh, knowledge acquisition understanding uh, synthesis and creativity for all these various learning outcomes games can provide an enriched learning experience for example memorization which is a recall of facts which traditionally uh, would be learned in a very uh, rote learning experience games can make it a better learning experience uh, for example a game to learn table uh, math tables can provide a dimension of competitiveness uh by 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 challenging the learner to do more sums in lesser amount of time or uh, bettering their score or a game to learn spellings uh, can add contextualization to uh, to to me a rote uh, for example uh, a, a game targeted at uh, learners who are soon going to apply for jobs could add a context of writing a, a covering letter for a resume and developing vocabulary and spellings within that context which may which the learner will will better identify with then on a uh, knowledge acquisition learning outcome uh, also games can play a, a important role typically uh, by adding a multimedia dimension to the narrative and thus making it more interesting although one could argue that this is more of storytelling than gaming but from uh, in comparison to a traditional learning experience uh, a multimedia narrative certainly uh, can for some learners provide a much better 
uh, or a more enriched learning experience then understanding or what we could call resolution of a cognitive conflict is another learning outcome on which games can play a, a important role from the perspective of deeper understanding games can for example provide a active exploration or a discovery experience where the learners have to figure out things for themselves and find things uh, for themselves games can provide feedback to the learners for improvement uh, hints in a game are examples of providing a scaffolded learning experience and in general games are very good for providing a constructivist learning experience then synthesis or where the learner makes connections between two discrete concepts or ideas and is able to understand the underlying patterns and relationship between a uh, varied knowledge nuggets is another learning outcome which can be enriched uh, by by using a game based learning experience for example a game like sims brings uh, requires knowledge across domains uh, business economics etc uh, to to play the game also it it may uh, help in improving varied skills uh, like planning and decision making and problem solving then creativity which we can think of as a uh, application of knowledge in innovative ways uh, or or in novel context is another learning outcome on in which games play can play an important role solo learning experiences typically provide more learning while uh, competitive and collaborative learning experiences typically uh, provide a better trigger for learner mo motivation and i i say typical because it depends on the game design but uh, in general this this may be the case and hence in selecting games for game based learning it is important to strike a balance between the two games which provide uh, opportunities for solo learning or solo reflection uh, whereas also providing opportunities for competition and collaboration which enhance learner motivation multiplayer games or uh, gaming communities are uh, excellent ways of providing experiences where there is co construction of meaning uh, collaborative working and consensus based decision making in such learning com in, in such gaming communities uh, several learning theories are at play for example vygotsky's Uh, zone zone of proximal development or more knowledgeable others or leven wenger's legitimate peripheral participation where uh, which shows how a novice moves to expertise through observation reflection and mentoring so to recap on different learning outcomes better provided by games than traditional ways of learning at least for some students these learning outcomes could be memorization knowledge acquisition understanding synthesis or creation so far we have looked at uh, the two dimensions of game based learning engagement and learning effectiveness novelty of the devices on which a game is played can also add to the engagement aspect of the game for example consider playing a game on a computer or a laptop and playing the same game on a console like a uh, wii or xbox or a mobile phone or a smartphone or on on a tablet like um, ipad the coolness of the form factor can certainly add to making a game more engaging there are several advantages of game based learning for example game games can provide a learning experience which is more situated contextualized and personalized and i say can because it depends on how well a game has been designed or how well a existing game has been used uh, for achieving a particular learning outcome games can also be used for learning content or 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 you know more uh, knowledge acquisition of a particular discipline or topic or they can be used for acquisition of skills including 21st century skills like innovative problem solving and collaboration or games can be used for practicing and honing existing skills one major advantage that game based learning has is that it has the potential to add a emotional impact to learning 
and positive em emotions are very helpful in enhancing learning daniel goleman in his book social intelligence describes inspired moments of learning as moments where learners full attention enthusiastic interest and positive emotional intensity is brought out and games are very good at doing this uh, that is in in creating such inspired moments of learning where uh, the game is able to get uh, uh, learners full attention enthusiastic interest and provide a more uh, positive emotional intensity games also have a unique advantage that the assessment can be embedded in a game as against a traditional se setting where there is discrete uh, aspect of acquisition of knowledge and then a discrete test of recall or application but in a in a game if it is well designed the demarcation between learning and assessment can be can become gray and hence the learner thinks it's all a game and and doesn't know that at this moment uh, the learner is being tested uh, for a, for a certain learning outcome another aspect of game based learning is that games deal better with uh, frustration and failure than in say a typical classroom setting and frustration and failure both can provide a great learning opportunity uh, if you have the resources to design and develop own games then you should consider first establishing the learning mechanics or what is it that you want the learners to learn be it a, a cognitive skill or or a or a particular uh, knowledge um, or practicing these uh, skills that the learner already has and then establish the assessment mechanics uh, for example is it embedded is it test of recall is it test of application etc and then after you've established the learner mechanics and the assessment mechanics you should establish the game mechanics that is the engagement and the fun aspect of the game uh, will, will it be a solo endeavor a competitive or a collaborative endeavor etc if however you do not have the resources to design and develop your own games then you have to rely on existing games existing games may not be the most efficient way of delivering the particular learning outcome you have in mind for example um, you can use a game like angry birds to teach uh, at what angle uh, does maximum displacement take place but then because so many other factors are at play in in that game that to teach this one element it may not be angry birds may not be the most efficient game to do that uh, so existing games may have other extraneous elements which add to the cognitive load and hence make the achievement of a particular learning outcome less efficient however if you do not have the resources then you you have to rely on games which are already out there and what you have to do then is that look at the game mechanics of uh, games that are already there and then see how well they dovetail into the particular learning and assessment mechanics that you have established uh, for example world of warcraft uh, uses a concept of guilds where learners come together and undertake a challenge and hence they learn a lot about collaboration and hence a game like world of warcraft can be used to learn collaboration principles so to sum up for learners who are not very comfortable with traditional means of learning games can indeed be a very effective alternative games can provide a variety of learning outcomes like memorization knowledge acquisition a deeper uh, understanding synthesis and creativity in ways that at least some learners who are not very comfortable with traditional uh, means of learning these learning outcomes will find highly engaging and fun so i say let the digital learning games begin